Class of 2021, congratulations. Your senior year at PSU has been a year like no other. You persevered through a year of Zoom doom, a generation defining pandemic, and a fall term that started with some of Portland's worst ever wildfire smoke. And of course, also a national reckoning on race and racial justice, where many of you participated daily in our city's acts of protest, which of course put Portland on the international stage for engaged activism. If you take a moment and simply reflect on what you or we have all been through together, it becomes clear that in life, we don't always get to choose what situations we find ourselves in, but we often can choose how we respond. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff of PSU's largest college, the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, we recognize and see what you've accomplished. We see how you've responded to this moment individually and together and persisted despite everything terrible and overwhelming that was thrown your way. Now we all know that you won't get very far in life based on only what you know right now. Your life will be shaped not by what you learned in your college years, but by what you've yet to learn. And I suspect you have all learned way more about yourselves than you ever thought you would during your senior year at PSU. As we begin to come out of this unbelievably challenging year of social isolation, what have you learned about yourself and what you really, really need to thrive? As you have risen up every day to meet this pandemic, what have you learned about what brings you joy, about what lifts you up, and of course, about what brings you down? What has this pandemic taught you about yourself? These, my friends, are the priceless lessons of this pandemic. Priceless lessons that you couldn't have hoped to learn from any professor, a course, or textbook at PSU. How will you take these lessons with you as you move on from PSU? Now, for some in the world, earning a college degree in 2021 seems like something you would almost take for granted, almost a given. But the reality is that in our world today has 7.5 billion people. And if we reduce these numbers to a village of only 100, only seven would have a college degree, seven. So please, please don't leave here today thinking you have not done something distinctive, amazing, and uncommon, because you have. Now, like many of you, I too was a first generation student, and I never thought I would have the privilege to earn a college degree, but I did, and it changed my life. For all of you who are first generation, veterans, student parents, returning students, or those among you who were told at some point you weren't smart enough or didn't belong in college, well, here you are. You did it. And you too are now part of our planet's rare 7%. Now from here on out, what you do with the privilege of having earned a college degree is totally your choice. But no matter what comes, I hope you won't forget the grit, the determination, the creativity and patience it took for you to navigate this past year. There will surely be hard days ahead, for sure, but you've all clearly proven you can handle hard days. So here's to your amazing future of more learning, of more adventure, of more discovery, and way less Zoom. Congratulations. Graduates from class of 2021, we did it. Look how far you've come. And we have overcome great obstacles to get this far without not knowing what lies ahead. You are inspiring. You are incredible. You are formidable. And we did not get here on our own. We've relied upon our families, peers, friends, professors, and mentors. For you all, my greatest gratitude. I've relied on so many to get here because my path to get this far was not easy nor smooth. I am a proud Brazilian immigrant, first generation college student, daughter of a single mother who graduated high school when she was 25. I am the granddaughter 
of a very strong woman who had to stop school when she was 10 in order to pick cotton, earn money, and feed her siblings. To earn my undergraduate degree, I attended classes in the evening while working over 40 hours a week. Yet, here I am, graduating with a 3.9 GPA and walking on a path that was carved and conquered by the sweat and lives of those who fought to grant me this right. Yes, I am my ancestors' wildest dreams. BSU has allowed me to be part of the greatest learning community and gave me support to succeed in academia. This community gave me tools to grow, inquire, think critically, find evidence in science, and this is very important nowadays, and become a better educator. You may have heard more times than you wanted that these are unprecedented times. But please, remember one thing. Remember your resilience. The resilience with which you faced these times and achieved even greater goals. Remember that when you move on to your future endeavors. Remember what you are capable of. As you graduate, your degree will allow your voice to be more easily heard. So please use it. Speak up. Speak up for those who are not allowed in the room you're in. Speak up for those who do not have a voice. Those who are held back by the gatekeepers. All in all, love one another as equal beings. Wash your hands, wear a mask, get vaccinated, and be an active anti-racist. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome, class of 2021. My name is Gudelia Contreras Flores. It is an honor for me to be here with all of you today. We are proof that nothing can get in our way to our dreams, not even Mr. COVID-19. I remember like it was yesterday when I got an email saying that the last week of winter term 2020 could be online. But I never imagined from that moment all my classes for the rest of my bachelor's degree will be conducted in Zoom. We have all learned together in the virtual classroom since then. I am a first generation college graduate, a descendant of African and indigenous people from Veracruz, Mexico. I immigrated to San Jose, California in 1990. I am the first of seven children and I am both proud and sad to say I am the first and only to graduate from college. I moved from California to Salem in 2004. In 2008, I started working in a fish processing plant in Astoria, where sometimes we work 20 hours shift. I did this for years, exhausting myself, and at the beginning of 2012, I asked my dad for a raise, and he said, okay, 20 cents an hour more. I was so offended that I went to the community college in Astoria to ask for information of what I need to do to register for classes and get a GED. I earned my GED in June 2012. That was my first key to higher education. Then, after five years of being a part-time student at Claxo, in June 2017, I earned an associate's degree. That was my second key. I quit my job at the cannery in 2014. And in 2015, I started working with the, with the community and a non-profit organization in Claxo Community County. 
but I need to continue my education journey. That's why in fall of 2019, I quit my almost perfect job to enter as a full-time student at PSU. My dream to go to the university started three years ago as a teenager, and now here I am, soon to enter a master program at PSU. One of the reasons that keep me going to this journey are my parents. Sadly, neither of them lived long enough to see me graduate, but they are here in my heart. I'd like to thank the administration and faculty of Portland State University for the hard work and dedication. When the hard times arrived, my heroes were there to help me. That was my instructors. There were so many challenges, and COVID com compound all of them. But my instructors never stopped believing in me, and they always took my life circumstances into account. Be persistent with your education dream. Maybe you will find many challenges like me, but at the end, it is worth it. If your door closed, look around. It's most likely that you will find a window to enter or someone who can help you to open the door. Today, we are all receiving a new master key. Our lives are about to take off in different new directions. Some to graduating school, some to exciting new careers. All of us have crossed an important threshold and our lives are forever changed. La educación es el único tesoro que nunca nadie te quitará. Education is the only treasure that no one will never take away from you. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Portland State University awards honorary degrees to acknowledge individuals who have achieved outstanding scholarship or artistic accomplishments or performed distinguished public service during their lifetime. I'm so very pleased to present an honorary doctoral degree of humane letters to education and anti-racism advocate Ron Herndon. Mr. Herndon received his Bachelor's of Art degree in history from Reed College, where he persuaded the college to start a black studies program. The co-founder of multiple Portland community-based organizations, Mr. Herndon has dedicated his life to fighting for black people on issues such as educational equity, economic justice, and police accountability. Protests and campaigns organized by Mr. Herndon helped to overturn discriminatory policies in Portland public schools and to make police oversight a Portland city policy. In 1970, Mr. Herndon opened the Black Education Center, an independent primary school designed to meet the academic and cultural needs of black children. The director of Albina Head Start since 1975, Mr. Herndon has also served for 10 years as the chairman of the National Head Start Association. He was for 12 years the executive director of the National Association of Schools of Excellence, a national organization of public school principals from rural and urban areas who are successfully educating low-income black, white, Native American, and Hispanic children. Delivering the address on Ron Herndon's behalf is Abel Gordley. Former Senator Gordley is a PSU alum, former Black Studies faculty member, an activist, and a community leader who herself received an honorary degree from PSU in 2017. It is an honor and blessing to be asked by my beloved friend of 50 years, Ronnie Herndon, to deliver these commencement remarks on his behalf. I ask the ancestors now for permission to speak about his life, and we continue to pray for his grace and wellness and want him to know that we appreciate every minute of his unselfish, consistent, loving kindness and servant leadership that he has shared with the community, children, and families. Ronnie, you have been building a beloved community for over half a century. As the honorary doctorate is bestowed today, let it be known that your life has made a difference in the lives of many, many thousands, especially children. 
Ronnie Herndon has lived as a manifestation, testament, and carrier of the message and vision of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a vision for building beloved community. Dr. King's vision was a global vision in which all people can share in the wealth of the earth and in the beloved community, poverty and homelessness will not be tolerated because international standards of human decency will not allow it. It has been said that the most significant days of our life are the day of our birth and the day our life purpose is revealed. 75 years ago, 1946, Portland State University was founded as Vanport College. And over time, the purpose of the university was cemented and revealed to be let knowledge serve the city. President Percy stated in the Portland State Magazine that celebrated three quarters of a century of this institution that, and I quote, still our efforts to advance racial justice and equity, dismantle white supremacy and decolonize ourselves and our approaches are incomplete. We have a moral imperative to lean into this work deeply now and over the long run. Our charge is to root out policies and practices that discriminate, to advance the well being and success of all in our diverse community, and to act with courage. Long before others now committed to dismantling white supremacy found their way to these words and understanding that require courageous action, Ronnie Herndon was under the tutelage of the brilliant scholar William McClendon at Reed College, and he was living these words. Through practice, critical thinking, and activism, he forced curriculum changes and the inclusion of Black studies at Reed College. In that same year of PSU's founding, 1946, Ronnie Herndon was born in Coffeyville, Kansas. And over time, he understood his life purpose would be education and specifically educating Black children and all children to excel, to know their history and know themselves and know they have a place in the world. Ronnie Herndon came to understand what Nelson Mandela would proclaim that education is the most powerful weapon we have to change the world. And as Carter G. Woodson wrote in The Miseducation of the Negro in 1933, the purpose of education is to learn to think critically. How many of you graduates know and have read Carter G. Woodson's Miseducation of the Negro and read Cast by Isabel Wilkerson? You all should. Ronald Herndon has dedicated his life energy to the purpose of eliminating the miseducation of Black children and all children and building institutions and crafting public policy that best serves all students and society by prioritizing the development of a quality, non-racist education for all children in Portland public schools. As an education leader with an international following, he has developed Head Start locally, statewide, nationally, and internationally as the foundation for learning and knowledge for low-income children and families. With an international team of educators who have mastered the art of teaching and raising children's achievement, 
Ronnie has even developed training for school principals. Ronnie Herndon understands the deepest meaning of Nelson Mandela's words that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This is a statement about the power of education that you all have received. It is also a statement about where your education at this institution may have been or probably was incomplete because black studies is still not a requirement for graduation as it should be. And the school of gender, race and nations has not been elevated to a place of institutional respect. That is where PSU is challenged to improve its ability to provide a quality, non-racist education for all students that prepares them to meet and change the world. We need more Black teachers. PSU should take up the challenge issued to Portland Public Schools by Word is Bond, the Black Men's Organization, a demand issued at the March Against Murder recently Word is Bond demands that Portland Public Schools recruit and train 100 Black teachers over 10 years. PSU should increase its support for the already established Portland Teachers Program, brainchild of Ronnie Herndon and administered faithfully for over three decades by Deborah Cochran. We need more Black teachers. How will you use your education to change the world to better serve humanity? Do you possess the knowledge and tools to engage the world in that way and to do the work of dismantling white supremacy? I graduated from PSU in 1974 a summer ceremony in the park blocks outside of Smith Center. My graduation 47 years ago took place on the same day Richard Nixon resigned as president of the United States. The intervening years have revealed how very fragile is our American democracy. In the wake of an insurrection at the nation's capital, and targeted efforts to diminish voting rights across the states, we may lose our democracy if we do not come together with greater urgency and pursuit of perfecting this union in the struggle to keep it. Ronnie Herndon's work has shaped the national movement for a quality non-racist education for all children in a way that appreciates that children are the reward of life, as says the African proverb. It is their uplift and development that is the most significant work we can do now. When we look at the times we are living on a planet in peril, we see trash filled streets, abandoned people living in the most inhumane circumstances on neighborhood streets and on our highways and byways. Are you, the graduates of today, prepared to use your knowledge to not only serve this city, but ensure that all citizens are provided with the most basic needs of humanity and to save this city and nation and this planet for the next generation. Are you prepared and ready to engage in the fight to save this American democracy? What are you doing and what will you do to protect the right to vote? Do you understand the relevance of the year 1619, of the year 1965? Are you committed to lifelong learning? 
Ronnie Herndon's generation believed in building a beloved community that Dr. King taught us to envision. Ours was a generation of building beloved community while challenging the Achilles heel of white supremacy. And now we have the great reckoning around racial injustice, the threat to the existence of democracy and a higher calling to embrace all humanity. Where will you stand? Where and how will you let your knowledge be in service to the city? How will you honor the work of Ronnie Herndon and his generation of beloved community builders who have spent their energy uplifting children, families, and the basic needs of humanity? Congratulations. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Bonjour, class of 2021. I borrowed a chicken to give you a very Portland congratulations for your Portland State University diploma. We're so proud of you and can't wait to see what you'll do in the future. Muchísimas felicidades por este gran logro. Todos sus esfuerzos y sacrificios valieron la pena. Desde el fondo de mi corazón les deseo todo, todo el éxito del mundo. Recuerden de siempre seguir sus sueños ya que ellos saben el camino. Y ahora a celebrar. Your achievement is unsurpassed and this has been the most incredible year to be a college student. Not only did you earn your degree, but you earned it in the middle of a global pandemic, an economic crisis, and a civil rights reckoning. And to top it all off, your classes all went online. I am so impressed that you were able to stay on track, persevere, and get your degree during this pandemic. Some of us haven't dared yet venture out to get a haircut. Congratulations to you all. See multi labores, multas peregralia. Hink tamen per venimus. Gratulor wobis omnibus, proficus gimini in mundum latum et floriatis. Doctrina quidem urbi seviat. I know that you'll take your knowledge, your values, and your newly acquired education and put them to service of our planet, of each other, and of the future, because you are the future. I hope you're proud of all that you've done, of all that you've achieved. And I know the future is going to be very, very bright for you indeed. Sie sind aufgeklärter als zuvor, aber es hört nie auf. Jetzt sind Sie dran. Studierende aller Länder, vereinigt euch und betreten Sie Feuertrunken, Himmliche, das Heiligtum der Freude. Ruskaya Kafedra, Paslabiaet Vas. Sakanchanyam Vashe Uchobay. Jalaim Vam Udachi Zdarovia Imnogi Uspiehov Udushem. Ura! Ta! Every day is a good day. A nuestros estudiantes de español que ahora se reciben, enhorabuena. Han trabajado muchísimo y estamos muy orgullosos de ustedes. <música>